Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like mishkaki. These are skewered and grilled meats, often chicken, beef, or goat, marinated in a flavorful sauce. Mishkaki is a popular Tanzanian street food and barbecue dish that consists of skewered and grilled meat, typically beef, chicken, or goat. The meat is usually marinated in a flavorful mixture of spices, herbs, and sauces before being skewered onto sticks and grilled over an open flame or charcoal. The marinade often includes ingredients like garlic, ginger, chili, soy sauce, vinegar, and various spices, which give the meat its delicious and aromatic flavor. Mishkaki is known for its tender and succulent meat, and it's often served with a side of spicy sauce or chutney for extra flavor. It's a favorite among locals and visitors alike and can be found at street food stalls, barbecue joints, and restaurants across Tanzania. Mishkaki is often enjoyed as a snack, appetizer, or as part of a larger meal, and it pairs well with other Tanzanian dishes like ugali, maize porridge, or kachumbari, tomato and onion salad. It's a must-try when exploring the vibrant street food scene in Tanzania. Nyama Choma, a Tanzanian barbecue specialty, usually featuring roasted meat, such as goat or beef, served with a side of spicy sauce. Nyama Choma is a beloved Tanzanian and East African dish that translates to roasted meat in Swahili. It is a popular and simple preparation of grilled meat, often featuring beef or goat as the primary protein. Nyama Choma is a staple at gatherings, celebrations, bars, and roadside eateries throughout Tanzania and neighboring countries. Here's how Nyama Choma is typically prepared and served. Selection of meat. The first step is choosing the type of meat you want. Beef and goat are the most common choices, but you can also find Nyama Choma made with other meats like chicken. Marination. The meat is typically marinated in a mixture of spices, herbs, and sometimes a bit of salt. The specific marinade can vary by region and personal preference. Grilling. The marinated meat is skewered onto sticks or placed on a grill over an open flame or charcoal. It is grilled slowly to ensure it cooks thoroughly and gets a nice smoky flavor. Serving. Nyama choma is traditionally served in large chunks or pieces, often with the bone in. It's typically accompanied by side dishes such as kachumbari, a tomato and onion salad, pili pili, spicy sauce, and sometimes ugali, maize porridge, or chips, french fries. Sharing. Nyama choma is often enjoyed with friends and family as a shared meal. It's a social and communal experience, and people gather to enjoy the flavorful grilled meat and the company of others. The simplicity of Nyama choma allows the natural flavors of the meat to shine through, and the grilling process imparts a delicious smokiness to the dish. It's a quintessential East African culinary experience and a must-try for anyone visiting Tanzania or the surrounding region. Zanzibar Pizza, Pizza Mogo. A unique street food from Zanzibar, these are thin, crispy crepes filled with a variety of ingredients, such as minced meat, vegetables, and egg. Zanzibar Pizza, locally known as Pizza Mogo, is a popular street food delicacy originating from Zanzibar, an island off the coast of Tanzania. Despite its name, Zanzibar pizza is quite different from the traditional Italian pizza. Instead, it's a unique and delicious street food item. Here's how Zanzibar pizza is typically prepared and served. Dough preparation. The base of Zanzibar pizza is made from a thin, unleavened dough. The dough is often made from cassava flour, known as muhago, in Swahili, although some variations use wheat flour or a mixture of both. The dough is rolled out into a thin, round shape. Filling. What sets Zanzibar pizza apart is the variety of fillings that can be used. Common fillings include a combination of ingredients like minced meat, beef, chicken, or fish, finely chopped vegetables, onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes, beaten eggs, and a selection of spices and herbs. Some vendors even offer sweet versions with ingredients like banana and sugar. Assembly. The dough is spread out, and the chosen filling ingredients are placed on one half of the dough round. The other half is then folded over to encase the filling, creating a semicircular shape. Cooking. The filled dough is cooked on a flat griddle or frying pan. It's typically fried with a bit of oil until it becomes crispy and golden brown on the outside and the filling is fully cooked. Serving. Zanzibar pizza is usually served hot and can be folded in half, making it easy to eat by hand. Some vendors offer a range of condiments and sauces like chili sauce, tamarind sauce, or ketchup to enhance the flavors. Zanzibar pizza is a popular and affordable street food snack in Zanzibar and other parts of Tanzania. 
It's known for its versatility, as you can customize the filling to suit your preferences, whether you prefer a savory or sweet version. When visiting Zanzibar, trying Pizza Mogo is a delightful way to experience the island's culinary culture. Vatumbua. Small, sweet, rice flour pancakes, often served with coconut sauce or sugar. Vatumbua is a popular East African snack, particularly in Tanzania and other Swahili-speaking regions. These small, round, and fluffy rice cakes are a delightful treat often enjoyed as a snack, breakfast item, or dessert. Vatumbua have a slightly sweet and aromatic flavor, making them a favorite among locals and tourists alike. Here's how Vatumbua are typically prepared. Rice flour base. The main ingredient for Vatumbua is rice flour. Some recipes may also include a small portion of coconut milk or grated coconut to enhance the flavor. Sweetening. To make them slightly sweet, sugar or grated jaggery, a traditional unrefined sugar, is added to the rice flour mixture. The amount of sugar can be adjusted to suit personal taste preferences. Spices. To infuse flavor, cardamom and sometimes a pinch of cinnamon or cloves are added. These spices give Vatumbua their characteristic aromatic taste. Yeast or baking powder. To achieve a light and fluffy texture, yeast or baking powder is incorporated into the batter. This helps the Vatumbua rise when they are cooked. Frying. Traditionally, Vatumbua are cooked in a special pan with small, round molds. The molds are lightly greased with oil or butter, and a spoonful of the batter is poured into each mold. The Vatumbua are cooked on both sides until they turn golden brown and develop a crispy exterior while remaining soft inside. Serving. Vatumbua are typically served hot and can be enjoyed plain or with accompaniments such as tea or coffee. They are often eaten as a snack during tea breaks, at breakfast, or as a street food item. Vatumbua are known for their delightful combination of sweetness and aromatic spices. They are a popular street food and homemade snack, and they can also be found in local markets and food stalls throughout Tanzania and other East African countries. If you have the opportunity, don't miss trying Vatumbua for a taste of East African cuisine. Kilimanjaro Pizza a popular Tanzanian street food, it's a thick, pan-fried bread base topped with a mixture of tomatoes, onions, and spices. Kilimanjaro pizza is a unique and delicious Tanzanian street food specialty that you can find in various regions of Tanzania, especially around the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro. Despite its name, Kilimanjaro pizza bears little resemblance to the Italian pizza. It's more like a savory pancake or flatbread with a flavorful topping. Here's how Kilimanjaro pizza is typically prepared and served. Dough preparation. The base of Kilimanjaro pizza is made from a simple wheat flour dough, similar to the dough used for chapati, a type of flatbread common in East Africa. The dough is typically rolled out into a circular shape. Topping. Unlike traditional pizza, Kilimanjaro pizza does not have tomato sauce and cheese. Instead, it's topped with a mixture of finely chopped tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and a variety of spices. The exact ingredients can vary by vendor and personal preference. Cooking. The prepared dough is placed on a hot griddle or frying pan. The vegetable topping mixture is spread evenly over the dough. The Kilimanjaro pizza is cooked on both sides until it becomes golden brown and crispy, with the toppings infused with flavor. Serving. Kilimanjaro pizza is typically served hot and can be sliced into wedges or squares for easy eating. It's often garnished with additional fresh vegetables or herbs, such as cilantro or parsley. Accompaniments. It's common to serve Kilimanjaro pizza with a side of spicy sauce or chutney for extra flavor. Some vendors may also offer additional toppings like minced meat or scrambled eggs for those who prefer a heartier version. Kilimanjaro pizza is a popular street food in Tanzania, and it's known for its simplicity and satisfying flavors. It's a versatile snack or meal that can be customized to suit various tastes. When visiting Tanzania, particularly in regions near Mount Kilimanjaro, trying Kilimanjaro pizza is a must to experience the local culinary culture.